Hi guys, so welcome to Cook Avec Dan and uh, this week we will do a... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Cook Avec Dan and this week we're gonna do a salmon tartare. So first on, we're gonna do some uh, nice crouton homemade and uh, we're gonna cut this uh, baguette in a very thin slice. We will use some good olive oil and we'll add salt and fresh ground pepper. We'll lay those nice croutons here. And we will use some parsley. Put this in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes, but uh, always keep an eye on it because it goes uh, fast to, uh, to just beautiful to overcook, so watch it. All right, so for uh, this salmon tartare, we will use uh, sushi grade salmons. This salmon has been frozen for uh, days. The process kill all the bacteria. So now just gonna remove the skin. So just make sure the skin is flat on your work table and then just run the knife. If your knife is really sharp, it's gonna go super well. So here we go. Once this is cut, I'm putting some olive oil on it and we mix and the olive oil will protect. So um, we'll keep this in the fridge while we cut all the uh, other ingredients. So you want to have your, uh, your fish always cold. And uh, always keep everything clean. When you cut the salmon, clean your table, clean your knife, clean your hands. You don't want to have uh, cross-contamination. So when you do tartare, you want to chop everything really fine. You don't want any ingredient bigger than the salmon itself. So I'm cutting some chives. And uh, like I said before, always use fresh ingredients that you bought the day you will do the tartare. And we will use some caper and we will chop this just a little bit to uh, release the flavor. And this is my personal recipe. I like to put some alfalfa sprout in it. So uh, be generous. This will bring a really different taste. And this will uh, add a texture to it.
we'll take some uh, basil And we will uh, put one dry shallots. put some mayo not too much if you want more creamy you can add more whole grain mustard for the eat a little bit of uh, sambal oyek you can also put some um, sriracha I prefer this one this is at your taste if you put like half a teaspoon should be hot enough salt and pepper Okay, so now this was uh, in the fridge and we'll mix all that together. So uh, now that everything is mixed, you can taste it now, but it will be uh, a lot different in uh, an hour because uh, all those ingredients need to be uh, together you can try it, but you will see in one hour, this tastes a lot better. So while we uh, are keeping this in the fridge, we'll work on our uh, croutons. All right, so we add it, or uh, salmon tartare. Uh, you have the choice of uh, crouton, of uh, cucumber, or uh, endive. I have chose this uh, blonde beer. You don't want something that go, gonna go over your uh, your meal. So you have a little bit of bitterness in this, but not too much. It's uh, still fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is delicious. Let's try it with the cucumber. Mmm. Oh yeah, you know what? I prefer with the cucumber. It goes really well with uh, with the tartar. So uh, let's try uh, the wine now. I chose uh, a Chardonnay from uh, Bourgogne. This is uh, this is where the best Chardonnay are made in the world. I can smell some uh, fruit notes. It's very fresh. The acidity of this is perfect. This was made in um, oak barrel. This is perfect for this dish. 
Mm. Yep. This this is the right choice. So tartare of salmon with a nice chardonnay from Bourgogne.